So first I want to start this video off by showing you my 32 week baby bump. I have no idea how I still fit into this shirt. I'm getting huge and I'm full of stretch marks even though I've been using stuff to prevent them. Hey Lamb Fam, welcome back. Before I go any further, I had a few people ask me about my registry or like if I had a P.O. box or you know if I was going to share my registry with you guys and I thought a lot about it and I'm going to link my Amazon registry down below. And no, it's not because there's only like two people that's bought something on there. Anyways, but yeah, I will leave it down below and you do not have to buy anything. I'm just telling you that it's down there for those people that had asked. I bought this new ring light and I really hope that the lighting is okay because I have a window open and because I'm like really, really hot and the sun keeps like coming in and out of behind the clouds. So I hope that that's not making too big of a difference. So I packed my hospital bag and that one I could show you guys in a different video, but for now, this is just what I packed for baby. This we got on Amazon for Black Friday, I think. We got a really good deal on it. So here is what I packed. We'll start on the outside here. I put this thin old thing of wipes because I think that one was from Target or something because when you do a registry, they give you like some free items. And then I put a bottle in here just because I wanted to put one in here and see how it fits. And I know that the hospital like provides diapers and wipes, so just ignore the fact that I put diapers and wipes in here. On to the inside. So this is our take home outfit. We have this with this onesie. It says worth the wait. It's so hard to show you like this. Onesie says worth the wait. And then it has a cute headband that matches. And I'm so excited to put that on her. I cannot wait. That'll be what she comes home from the hospital in. Let's just put everything back here for now. I've never done this before, okay? I, I don't know how long I'm gonna be in the hospital. If I go naturally, it's like two days. If I have a C-section, it's like four days or something. Who knows, if there's complications, I might be there longer. So I packed extra clothes for her, for myself, and I'm gonna have my husband do that too. You just never know. I'd rather pack too much than too little because right now, with this pandemic going on, you cannot leave the room. You can't even leave to go get food or anything. If you leave, you can't come back in. So we're gonna have to pack like extra, extra, extra. So then I packed three onesies. This one just says sweet, and then this one. This one says princess. I think my sister gave me this one from her daughter. It's got just a little bird on it. And like I said, these are all just just-in-case onesies, in case we end up in the hospital longer or something. And then I have these as just-in-case onesies, in case she comes as a preemie. These ones are preemies. This one has little white hearts on it. And then there's this one, which is super cute. It's got ruffles and flowers. And then this one says, best smile ever. Right? Yeah, best smile ever. And it's super cute. Of course I Pinterest like how to pack baby bag because I had no idea how to do any of this. And then I got this little sleeper. This one's really really long but that's okay because like I don't want her feet sticking out and getting cold anyway. I love these. It also came with matching mitts and then I have a bag of mittens. I have this plain white onesie just in case. You just never know when you'll need just a plain white onesie. And I put a stack of diapers and I know five are not enough. And I know the hospital provides them. I just did it because because what's a diaper bag without diapers, right? And then I have this little sleeping sack, which is super cute. And then it just says giggle on the front. And then another nightgown. And I think that there's mittens in that bag that match this one too. We're getting there guys. And then I packed a bib and a burp cloth and they match. I got this from a coworker, along with like a ton of others. And then I put one more bib just in case. I love these handkerchief bibs. They are so adorable. And then I have two hats. This one's pink and white striped. It has like a tiny little bow on the front. And then this one's a white knitted one. And then I have a white and a pink pair of socks. So we don't want them little toesies getting cold. And then this was on my Amazon registry and I actually bought it. But it's a headband with this sleeper, which the bottom you just tie into a knot so it's kind of like a sleeping sack and then you just untie it to change diaper. I thought that was so cute. What a cute little set, right? So I thought if I didn't have anything to take her home in, this was it. But now I might not even have to use that. I don't know. And then I have just a pink and white receiving blanket. And last but not least, I have three swaddle blankets. This one my pastor's wife got me. It's brown and pink. This one my sister left me because I really liked it when she used it for her daughter. 
because I thought, you know, if I have a boy or girl, this would be perfect. And then this one I got from Amazon because Amazon gives you some free stuff if you sign up for a registry. This one just has zebras on it and I thought it was really cute and hey, it was free. So now I have to pack this back up. So yeah, that's what I had in my hospital diaper bag. And like I said, I will leave a link down below of my Amazon registry. Don't feel pressured, I'm just doing it for those who have asked. Also, I'm going to do a video in the future of what I packed in my hospital bag. Once that's complete, I'm still waiting for a couple things to come on Amazon, but um, for the most part, it's pretty well packed. Now I just gotta get my husband packed. Because I only have eight weeks left. Oh my goodness. Where is the time going? <sighs> She's gonna be here before you know it. Oof -da. I really hope that this quarantine stuff, this uh, pandemic stuff is over by the time I go to deliver, but oof, we'll see. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, Lamb Fam.